Hello everybody, and today we are taking a look at Earthrise, Pounce and Wingspan. I'm going to throw it out there that Pounce and Wingspan, well, Earthrise, Pounce and Wingspan are a re, well, I don't know what you call it, a re, Oh, I'm going to just say republish. I know that terms for books, but it's just well, it's just, it is what it is. These two are a, a legends class. Well, they don't say that, but they're about the size of a legend class, and they're they're acceptable. They aren't the most aerodynamic group in the Transformers universe, but G1 wasn't the most aerodynamic group in the Transformers universe, so I guess you don't really have a choice in the matter, do ya? So I, I, I'm displaying and starting off this video with them in their animal forms. And, well, instead of my last video, Studio Series Thundercracker, it's going to be kind of reversed. But still, we're going to do articulation. So you got a hinge joint at the base of the, well, I don't know what to call it. It's like the base of this foot, but it's not at the upper part of this purple section on the foot. Then at the top of the uh, foot there's a hinge joint and it goes out like that. Same on the other leg. There is a hinge joint at the tail and this but I don't think you want to do that so let's just forget it. There is a hinge joint that can go all the way around on the front leg. And there's a hinge joint at the elbow of the leg. I sound so much like fucking Joe Biden right now. Um, and his head can look up. Yay. And wingspan is his hinge, well, hinge joint. That's it. And same on their arm. Wing. There's a hinge joint right here, which can actually be used this time. You can look like a peacock. <sighs> okay. And then at the feet, there's a tiny itty bitty little baby hinge joint. A baby hinge joint! Yay! <sighs> Why do I exist? Why do I exist? Me this. Why do I exist? Okay, let's transform these guys. So you fold this, you untap it, you flip it around, pull its wing, the feet out, pull it back, push his crotch in like Thundercracker. Pull its head, well, pull the bird head back so it flips around and hit, sits on the back. <clears throat> and twist the head around. Straighten everything up. And there's yourself a clone wingspan. Why is it okay? Now it's focused. It's pretty good, but now let's go, go to their one. <laughs> no. Okay. He's just going to stay like that. Um. With the legs this time, you just pull them out like this. Flip the feet into his, the the ca <coughs> the calves. Spin them around. Make sure these are nice and folded up. Fold it down. Pull back. 
pull down. Voila! So there is a... Well, I like the sticker. That's the only thing I have to say about this mold. I like it. Okay. Now, wingspan and pounds have the same articulation in robot mode, so I don't need to talk about both of them. So on this one, there is a hinge joint at the top of the foot, nothing at the base of the foot. Okay. There is a swivel at the top of the thigh. There is a ball joint at the, where the leg connects. Same on the other leg. There is a ball joint at the elbow. A hinge joint at the top. And the ball joint. Yep, B. There is a swivel at the head. And we're done. So. In general, these two are pretty great. Let's get the size comparisons. I, lo I couldn't find my rubber flamingo thing today, so it won't be joining us. We got Shy Guy, and I mean, considering Shy Guy, I mean, these guys are pretty damn small. My ruler, I usually don't do this for some reason, because I'm dumb. There we go. They top off at like four and a half inches. Well, not four and a half, three and a half. And I'm trying to get this into frame. They are tiny. They are adorable. They're tiny. And with that, folks, goodbye.